Oh, till we back again. I think we're just gonna continue to uh, finish off some quests uh, that we're lagging behind with. Let's take the loot chest from all the regions here. See if we get something nice. Just wood again. Kinda sucks. So let's continue with the sky farm. So we need to craft a planter and a harvester. So we couldn't do that, so we need 8 gold again. Feels like we have done this before. Then what else are for the harvester? Need more axe. Did we scan the Invar axe? Yep. Shears. Oh, one more Invar axe. Harvester and planter. <clears throat> Flower pot. Planter done. Harvester. Yeah, we've scanned these since before. More breeding, breeder, grinder. We need to craft these as well. It's pretty good because we want to start with this kind of soon at least. Purple dye. Sounds scary. Rose red and lapis. At least we have a few. nice and last one rancher we should be able to like research everything now I think if it feels like it at least rancher Good. So now we should be able to do the sludge boiler, I think. Chef tools, bakeware. We want to keep that in the system actually. 
plus salt. There are many easy quests here we can just chocolate milk. Iron upgrade and precision sledgehammer. We have that one. Oh, I got it. Oh, I just got one last part of it. Farms, so should we make that one? Don't know if we should start with multi farm just yet. Ugh. Could do it though. Farm block. Oh no, we need to fabricate that. Okay, we don't start with that just yet. Recipe Roundup. So there's a book for baking. We still haven't finished this one. Sprinkler, wooden channel. That counted, great. channel then so we finished that one diabolic this seems dangerous infusing crafting we could make this one actually thumb you sword we have a thomian sword could make the diabolist fork let's get the uh, can do some thumbcraft as well while we finish quests chef tools bakeware juicer mixing bowl let's get some clay For that juicer, some nice scanning there, pressure plate. Juicer. Oh man, there were many things we didn't scan here.
something else we didn't scan. Well, here we were pretty good at scanning, I think. Here as well. Void bag. Alright, just throw it's one slot to throw things away. Okay, we have the juicer, pick where nice. Mixing bowl. Great. Just gonna be used in a lot of recipe later. Retrieval milk, do we have that? Fresh milk. That's pretty good to autocraft fresh milk like that. Metalware pot skillet saucepan. Get some more research. Pot 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 pot. We don't have the pot, right? Oh, so annoying. Okay, we don't do that at the moment. Cooking. We smelt a book. for blockheads. So what is this? Select an item on the right to see its recipe. Okay. So it only knows one recipe because we have only made one toast, a toast sandwich. And I can craft them. I'm not sure. How many slots do we have here? Still quite a few slots. We might need to make more very soon. More recipes we can do. Crafting for blockheads too. Crafting for blockheads too. Still, it's like other recipes. Let's check. Read the text. With all the ingredients available to cook with. The beginner chef may become slightly overwhelmed and resort to just eating raw ingredients. And the tool friend chef is cookbook. Place a book in a furnace and transfer it. Tell you everything, make items with the items in your inventory. Aha, uh -huh, it tells based on items in the inventory. Okay. You get time to go back and forth between the book and the crafting table. The solution is to upgrade your book and some diamonds and crafting tables to create. Show that what you can make. You can also craft food for whatever you're currently carrying. Okay. So that's a nice book. We forgot to scan level 1. That's fine. 
So here I can craft. So I just pull it out. I like that. That's actually awesome. That's really good. Except we're gonna automate food soon, so. Gourmet kitchen. Let's make some crystals now. More water crystals. Let's see how many we're gonna make. Thirty at least. Let's get some heads. Twenty. Let's get a lot of ender heads and cobble. Let's see if we can work on the stability here before crafting some thumbcrafts things. The diabolic fork, for example. And then we're gonna focus on to automate this. So how are we now? If you use the Abacus. Stability booster 20. No penalty. some crystals down As we have seen earlier, the range is like out here somewhere, from which it picks up 24. Let's see about this then. If this is synchronized enough. To give stability. is out of sync or not symmetrical 29 how many end heads do we have left or we can do some more crystals up here maybe let's do some crystals shard Do I mean, that's still pretty good. Two on that side. Two on that side.
Not even enough crystals. Three only, oh shit. Did, we did all fix that, right? We have automation for that one, right? Don't remember where though. No, oh, here. about I need about 10 more crystals let that cook for a little bit while and see if we can do the diabolic fork where's our thumbcraft sword there it was Let's do uh, two and then four of that. Infusion crafting, I think. Maybe we don't have Machina. Thumbcraft sword. Hopefully we don't. There's no quest for Thumbcraft sword. I hope. to go and let's see if we have a machina 73 infernus and potential infernus potential how much potential is that 66 or something is quite enough but now we should have some asymmetry here, right? Yes, like symmetrical partner. Only 19? Crap. It's not fast. Let's check something else in bit before that. Milking tanks. So this may might be some research. Sky magic maybe. Public tinkering. Gases eliminate. You have study increased light and out of the way increased complete invisible light infusing. Okay, some light from nothing. Gaseous tenebrae. You have study in uh, this right with this concentrated acts of gaseous tenebrae. So we make darkness, I guess. All right, fume dissipator. Uh, All the okay, so you can remove all the ga nearby gas with this item. Okay, hyper energetic igniter. Whoa, that unlocked a lot of things. Uh, you have managed to create a light that shine even if it's being carried by a player by energizing 
Ember Burning Flame this night with powerful and genetic. That's potential, that's potential unlocks. Also, if you carry it, your character glows, I guess. Uh, we shine closely behind the carrier. It seems to leave a longer trail in the nether due to the heat. Essentia Funnel. Elemental Fire. You grew tired of managing your jars with files, to that you created this new mecha mechanism to transfer content uh, of one into another. By placing this block above our hopper, or right clicking it with a filled jar, the hopper is pointing into the jar. That's either empty or the same as paid to we tra oh, it would transfer ju oh, between jars. Farming Restore. I want to repair things? Restore broken tools by right clicking this block with a broken tool to and hooking essential tubes and gather essential to repair this tool. It will repair with instrumentum. Uh, Google, Google's review shows to how worn down the item in it still is. Redstone will be emitted once it's repaired. That is interesting though. Okay, these are enchantments, dimensional shards we cannot unlock for some reason. Cursed Spirit's Blade, mostly harmless. The thing is that our Remedium. It disappeared. I right clicked it and it just disappeared. Another fun thing is I saw a villager that would give us skeleton heads, but I wasn't fast enough to catch it with Safari. So <laughs> oh, that sucked. Diabolic fork, we could probably start that one. No, 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 we still unstable. Shit. So let's do a little more research then. You created a sword that strikes with unparalleled force, however. 10 attack damage, okay. However, for this to be case, the sword. Uh, feeds on the Strikers blood. Okay, so it uses LP. Take one heart of damage, blocking this sword will always deal. Oh, we take damage as well. We move faster than normal. And this works like the Bound Sword, it gives um, shards, I guess. And we can activate or deactivate it. Now we get its souls. Okay, so we might want to do, do that. Mob summoning. Maybe we should do another remedium or pen talisman. Short. Nine. We just need one more, right? To fix the asymmetry. One more. See, what 
Time to get some more ME computers as well, I guess. It's quite slow. Luckily, I always multitask, so. Okay, do we have symmetry now? Total instability of this infusion. Stability boosters. Okay, uh huh, that just means we're <laughs> huge overkill. <laughs> okay, what was that glitch? <laughs> that was super scary. Okay, we have the diabolic fork. Don't. You can use kill mobs. If you have a blank imprinting crystal, you will infuse it with the mob type in crystal rough cage. Then we need rough shard. TNT, Crucible Crafting. We can make a Wrath Cage. Blank. Potential and Benito. We can, we can finish this quest, I guess. Diamond. Also, what was the other one? We need to make shards. I don't want to craft these. So you can craft multiple something at the same time. So craft. Okay, nice. Wrath cage. Thormium block. Dangerous. Damn. Four. We need 14 T. And we haven't even made any TNT before. Yeah, we have. Wrath Chard. Might not have enough though. No, pretty chill. We didn't have enough of that. Let's uh, continue next time with more finish more quests before we start to automate something big again. Bye for now. Bye bye.